Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today is all about cloth diapering 101. So these are the basic stuff. I'm going to share with you guys how I prep my diapers and it's an interesting folding technique. I don't feel like I've seen other other moms do this folding. I don't know how they fold their diapers. Everyone has like their own way. This is my way of how I found them able to like fit the the diapers um so i don't know maybe it'll give you ideas to try out new ways of folding them there's no right way to fold a cloth diaper unless it's all sticking out and everything gets out but um besides that i'm going to share with you guys what worked for me and these type of of diapers is specifically because i i have thirsties i was interested in trying out other ones but um obviously during the time i didn't have the money to be spending like on all these diapers even though i wanted to because it kind of became an addiction <laughs> um there's so many cute diapers and i kind of just wanted to buy everything but i couldn't so um maybe for my second child i hope will explore more diapers but for now this is what worked out for me and i'm just gonna share that with you guys so to start off with um washing your diapers so when you first buy them in order for them to be really absorbent um especially for some brands some brands you need to wash them for sure otherwise the pee would just slide through them like it happened to me with the chinese pre-folds that i bought um they the material looked really weird and like meshy like i don't know like it was a weird material and i was like this isn't gonna hold any pee but until i washed them they became all cotton and soft and like absorbable so for sure you have to wash your your cloth diapers in order for them to be really absorbent so wash them so and then afterwards once they're dirty you need to wash them obviously now moving on to styles which is what i was getting into um i will show you guys how i prepare each size so these are newborn then you have your um oh it's all messed up um then you have your let me just take this out then you have your size one yes most diapers are all like size one um but then i found out that um they have a size well, at least thirsties has a size two which are a little bit bigger and i wasn't going to buy these and i didn't buy them till like further down the line because the size ones she, my daughter was on these she was like maxed out and even if I put my daughter on the last one to try to give her leg room, my daughter has like thick legs. Um, so she she was maxing them out like this would be comfortable, but then it will be too loose on her her waist. So it just it wasn't working out. I was trying to make it work as long as possible, but it was just it wasn't big enough anymore for her. So I waited till the very end, and once I had some money, I did buy a different set, and these are size two which stop giving her the marks around her little legs and so they're a lot bigger and i was able to make them more um bulletproof at night because obviously as they get older they pee a lot more and the little ones were just not holding up that absorbing all the pee um so and it was harder because obviously i, I wanted to feed her <laughs> right before she fell asleep so some people were like oh but don't feed them as much but that was kind of hard because obviously they're hungry and i'm not gonna starve my baby so yeah these are huge well they look huge now because like not even her underwear are this big but they are they tend to be a little bit bulkier than regular diapers so i would also encourage you to buy your baby's clothes always a size up because i always had to size up on her bottoms just because this took up room so uh let's just let me just show you how i prepared them so these are the diapers that I have. Um, these are the ones with Velcro. The only ones I have with Velcro are the newborns. And then the other ones are all like the snap-ons. So I have a size 1, size 2, and then obviously the newborn size. So they all come in different styles. I mean different like um, prints. So I like them. They're all cute and I love the colors. So we'll start off with the newborn size and it is velcro like I, I mentioned and I wanted to kind of get a sense of like disposable diapers in the beginning. And so I also use the Chinese prefold for this one just because it is a thinner material and I just didn't want it to be so bulky on my little baby. So I only all I do is fold it in fours but as you can see it's really thin and, and you'll see it compared to the other material. All I do is lay it out and then just fold it in fours and that's pretty much it. I just put it the thicker side is in the middle so I just make sure that I fold it that way so it's more absorbent. And I kind of tuck in the back and then make it fit inside the diaper cover. 
just kind of like snug it in there and then get ready and then I'll just lay my baby over it make sure that all the cloth is inside the diaper so it doesn't have um because if any material is outside the pee is going to leak and wet their clothes so just so you know that next are the size one um these are snapped on to the smallest size as you can see and then um i use the purple ones here inside of them in the beginning because it, it fit well and obviously they're not peeing like a bunch um, but once she did start peeing a lot more, I did switch the purple one for the red one. And as you can see, it's a little bit bigger on the width and height. It's just a little bit more and absorbs more. So I started switching it out, especially at night. And eventually I stopped using the purple ones and moved on. And then they both fit perfectly in the center if you just fold them like easily. I didn't have to fold them as much as the Chinese pre-folds. But again, there's different ways of doing this as they grow up. So that is one option. Another thing I I would sometimes do was, well, especially more with the red ones. So I would lay it out wide open and then I would just kind of tuck in and fold the front and then kind of just wiggle it around to make sure everything's inside the diaper. So that's always another option. Now moving on to the size two, which are bigger. Obviously it has more leg room than the other ones. And these, I actually use the red ones and the yellow ones. And sometimes I would just use up whatever I had. If they were all the red ones were dirty and I didn't have more of those, I would use the purple ones and kind of just layer them to kind of fit like a red one. As you can see, this is a yellow one. The yellow one seems to be the same like width, but they are a bit longer. And all I had to do was just learn how to fold it to make it fit in the diaper. And it is a little bit bulky. But I didn't mind. I always sized up on her clothing so the pants or any bottoms would fit. I would fold it into fours or I would lay it down open just like the purple one and just fold the front of it and then tuck everything in. So that was always an option to make it less bulky. Again, the, they are snapped on to the smallest size. So obviously there's more room it, as they grow. They can stretch them out even more. So that's the way I do that. Now for my nighttime um, diapers, I would sometimes layer them really thick just because I wanted to absorb all the pee because I had a few nights where it would spill out and so I was like, okay, it's not enough. So I would get the red one and put it inside the yellow one. I would just fold it, put it in the center to serve as protection and then fold the top down like this and then smooth it out as much as possible and then I would flip it around lay it on top of the cover and make it kind of snug in there with my fingers as much as I could making sure everything was inside and then I would apply the same concept of folding the front but this time keeping in mind that I have that other middle um, part inside so just trying to cover that as well and that's basically what I would do I just fold it back up and it is a little bit thicker but uh, my baby would sleep without any like bottom so it wasn't even a big problem and so and it worked it would hold the pee overnight so that is my diaper bulletproof nighttime thing going on right there okay so that's pretty much how i do my um diapers and so moving on to the wipes uh you can either prepare your wipes and put them in a nice um Tupperware or um, wipey warmer or any type of con container if you're going to be wetting them. Otherwise, um, I just have them in a little basket near the bathroom for us. And that's where whenever she would poop, we're like, okay, poopy. Uh, we would just get two, two or three wipes. Depends how big the poop was. Um, and so we would just get them, wet them in the sink. Put a little bit of coconut oil in my hands and then kind of just like pretend I'm like wiping my hands with those wipes. And that's what I would use to wipe them off and get her clean. Um, so that's pretty much it. And I wouldn't have that many poopy diapers um, per day anyways. So it wasn't much of a hassle. I mean, we just were like go wet and kind of like wet your... It's kind of like when you do your makeup and you have to go wet your sponge to do your makeup. It kind of felt like that. I just had to go and like give it a few squeezes and that was it. So for me, it didn't bother me, um, but otherwise you can always prepare them, have them ready and just grab them when you have to go clean. The only thing that you do need to remember is that they can't sit there for a long time um, because you don't want mold or any bacteria like forming in there. So you do need to like be constantly cleaning it and like 
keeping up with it basically now for rash preventions if your baby your baby's not gonna get that many rashes or diaper rashes anyways because that's usually with disposable diapers um so my baby didn't really get any diaper rashes except when she would poop and then we wouldn't change her diaper right away um so she would have to stay in her diaper for a while so this would only happen when we were on like on the road like basically i have to go pick her up and drop her off or not me or my husband either one and so sometimes we would be stuck in traffic and by the time we got home she might have pooped and we didn't realize it so she might have a, a, a rash um that's sometimes what would happen it was rarely though and so what well, when would she have another diaper rash um i don't think she would have another diaper rash i think that's it but in those rare occasions when it does happen, obviously, it is harder to tell when they pooped because obviously these aren't like regular disposable diapers. I know they get all fancy with the line in the middle and lets you know when. For me, I would just um, feel the top of the diaper and and feel like if it's wet, um, I'd be like, okay, she, she, she needs to be um, changed. When she would poop, I just kind of had to peek in there to check. Um, so that's how it it would be so that's why sometimes it's difficult to get used to like knowing when to change your diaper also timing it helped because obviously you know you know i go oh, it's been a certain amount of time i need to change your diaper so for me um yeah in the beginning it was a little harder because i didn't know when she would poop so i was like oh snap um so yeah when she would get a diaper rash what we used and re recommend that's the cheapest and it's really organic and helped it's just coconut oil just simple coconut oil nothing fancy i would just rub that all over her little butt and even like wipe my hand on the cloth just to make sure that it's like nice and moist there um so because it, it, it did hurt her and I remember her crying um so just use coconut oil otherwise I also use that um well that cream and so it's also really good it helped um and it healed coconut oil really helped her heal like within like a day or two like or no I just felt fast so coconut oil always good to go for your wipes to clean her and to just put for her there it keeps it all nice and pretty okay so the poop basically doesn't you don't have to worry about it in the first I don't know three months or so so because if you're just breastfeeding you can just dump that into the washer and you don't have to worry about it you have to start worry worrying about it the moment you start feeding your child um solid foods because then that's when all the poop comes and so i freaked out because the first thing i gave her i think it was bananas and the banana makes her poop come out with like little things that look like little worms and they're not worms i googled it i was freaking out i was like what the heck is going on but it's just the bananas and stuff so um once you start giving them solids you have to rinse it out with the water like the little hose and make sure that um the peanut butter poop or whatever the gunk um comes off in the toilet obviously if you don't want to spend the money you can always use your shower head if you have a shower head like on on the setting that's like the most hardest and so we would rinse it out like that if you want to if it reaches or whatever um, but besides that, all the pee diapers, we used to even wash them by hand on the on the spot or sometimes we just throw it in the, in the tub. And every time I would go to the bathroom, I would remember, okay, I gotta wash those diapers. I would just rinse them. Of course, sometimes it would hurt, but because we were struggling financially, um, there's a lot of things we had to do by hand and just, it was a struggle. Um, but anyways, <laughs> we, we just had to rinse them out and then you, once you just kind of rinse them out, you can like squeeze all the water out and dump that into the pail. Um, it just depends how often you want to do a lot, do a load of laundry or if you want to wash it by hand and just hang it outside or anywhere that you want it to dry, you can always do that as well. But it's not as bad, just, especially if you have a hose, you just gotta like shh squeeze dump it dump it somewhere or hang it up to dry or whatever and then wash it. it it's kind of like it depends on your lifestyle that's what it comes down to but don't worry about the poop it's just poop just rinse it out you don't touch it so it's not like you're gonna be like rubbing it on you so don't freak out about the poop and you don't even have to worry about it in the first beginning like if you're breastfeeding if you're formula feeding it's kind of the same thing it doesn't really matter um but i did notice that formula 
poop does stain your diapers even more so you have to make sure that you're like stripping them and all that just in case you want them like looking on brand new and stuff um unless you don't really care about the stains then it's up to you girl so that's pretty much it um i'm hoping this video was helpful for you guys i kind of went quickly through all the the stages but if you're interested in knowing more i'll link down um my other videos that i go in, into more depth of, of certain topics so check those out if you're interested i'll see you guys next time Bye.